Uh, Miss Tyree, what's up, Miss Tyree? What's up, Noble? Miss Tyree, you had an opportunity to hear the audio. Um, you know, you've you've been alive longer than you know the three of us on this panel. You've had more experience with dating and relationships and men in general. So I just want you to speak on, um, you know, your thoughts on what you heard him say in that audio. Um, I want you, I know you from Florida. I want you to just speak on what your experience has been with um, white men and, um, you know, men of other ethnicities, you know, throughout your 43 years of life. Have you had a lot of white men pursue you for serious relationships? Um, do you think a lot of white men, you know, really want, you know, do you think them and their family really want a black woman to be a part of their family? Like, just go ahead and speak on, you know, all the stuff here. Okay. Well, number one, um, just to give everybody, I'm, I'm prior military. So my background is a lot different. I've been all over the world in station with people from all races, all walks of life. So my dating experience is going to be unique to the average person who has not been in proximity to a lot of those people. So yes, I've been in relationships with um, men um, from every race and I still get pursued by men, white men, Asian men, like from every race. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that out there right there. And the reason why I was joining was not even to give my personal opinion, but this is why you know a lot of people in our community do not read, not anything scholarly, because there has been scholarly peer revert, peer review research done on this topic. So I understand that the gay guy, just because he might be gay, you might feel like he's just saying that because he's gay and he's singling out black men, but he's not. He's regurgitating proven statistical data that has been shown and has been proven. A black man by the name of Ralph Richard really quick, Banks. Really, really quick, mm -hmm. I'm sorry to cut you off really quick. I just wanna make, mm -hmm. it, I just wanna make it clear again. Every, I said this, Miss Tyree, everything that he said was 100% facts. Mm -hmm. So I, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing or trying to disprove anything he said. I said verbatim out of my own mouth. I'm saying it again. Everything that he said was facts, but Miss Tyree, really quick before I let you continue. Um, cause again, I, I, he, he made another video in the past and I had a live stream about it basically saying why black women shouldn't, you know, be focusing their, you know, attention on black men. But my whole thing, Mr. Ari, is if you're going to speak on something, speak on all of it. Don't just try to speak on, don't just try to speak on something that's going to fit your narrative. At the end of the day, everything that that man said is facts, but say that even with that being said, only four or 5% of y'all have ever are, are married to, you know, these men. So just make make okay. that legal too. Don't make it seem like it's a but noble. Go ahead. But at the end of the day, but in, but at the end of the day, what you're asking him for doesn't everyone get on this um app and do that? The everyone who gets on this app and who is trying to sell to a particular audience cherry picks information. Um, picks certain statistics and speaks on those. There's nobody who gets on this app and speaks about the entire picture, right? We got people who 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 don't even are not even people get on here and quote quote the Monahan report all the time. They haven't read that Monahan report from cover to cover from from every page. They just went in there and pit and cherry picked one section and they take it and they run with that. So to, to, to use that as a justification to say that he needs to speak on it all, I think it's unfair because 99.99999% of the people who get on this app, they do that all day, every day. No, you, you're, you're real quick, Mr. Harry, you're right about that, but I, I don't, res I don't respect that either. I don't, I don't, I don't respect, I don't respect any man or woman that does that either. Like, again, there's a lot of people on here that get on here and they're trying to they're trying to push propaganda. They're trying to have people conform to their way of thinking. They're trying to push a narrative. So that's what they're going to do. But I don't I don't respect, you know, the 99 percent of people that come on here and do that either. So I'm not going to respect him doing that either. But, yeah, go ahead. Anyways, go ahead. OK, yeah, like I was just I was just pointing out, like to me, you know, that's why I'm a big advocate on reading. And, and, and when you read and you actually can process information logically, then you take your emotions out of it. 99% of the people who are on here, they're only speaking off of emotions. They're not speaking off of factual data and logic. And right. what I was saying was, if you want to point a point of reference, a black man, 
right? Who, who a black man actually did research on this, actually did research on this, right? And the book's been out for over 10 years now where he basically researched the, um, the marriage um, crisis that's happening in America, specifically between black people and white people. And in his research, he spoke about a whole lot of stuff, but I'm just going to narrow down to so I can get on up off of here. I think that a lot of this, when you're talking about who's marrying and who's attracting to who, most people um, marry and date who they have proximity to. Right. Right. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I would. I would. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, so like me, most of the people that I've dated and been in relationships with, I probably would have never had access to those people in my circle if I stayed at home and I did not travel the world. I did not live in different countries. So I think a lot of the statistical data is going to be based off of that. Now, it does show that black women do not marry out as often as women in other races because women, black women, prefer black men right so that is a contributing factor but to say that um black women just don't have no options and in, in, in other races of men are not um coming and knocking on their door and pursuing them i don't i i can't say that's true maybe I, the I women, think, yeah ma if, if you in proximity to those type of women i would say yes but for the most part hell every woman got options as long as you got a mouth, as long as you got a, a, a as long as you got a hole, two holes in a mouth, right. I mean, you got options as a right. woman. Ma'am, I think the problem is black men, they have a hard time understanding that black women, they do have options. And I think because they think that we're the lowest of the low black men, we are the lowest of the low that they can't see us being with any other race and i think that's what this live is about i mean and when it comes down to it on the socioeconomic um structure in this society neither one of us really have no power you understand what i mean my like is, Tyree, that's my point <laughs> neither one of us have no power but at the end of the day for all this stuff about who black women ain't got knocking on their door and all this different stuff one of those statistics that cannot be cannot be refuted and cannot be argued that although black men are marrying out at the highest rate of any other race of men that is a fact black men marry other races of women more than any other race of men right we is it does anybody have any 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 does anybody want to say it's not true before I move on? I mean, apparently the the experience, the personal experience I had that I said was um a lie and it's untrue. So y'all talking I mean, about some weight, huh? That's why I'm saying this is why <laughs> reading is so important. That's why I keep telling people to get their ass up off this app and start reading <laughs> scholarly peer reviewed material. Because when you come over here and you're dealing with an intellectual, you're not going to compete with this knowledge. You understand what I'm saying? So let me go back to what I was going to say. Although you can say, oh, black women, all this, but I tell you, what ain't what ain't a lie. You marry more, but you also are getting divorced at the highest rate. Every race of women are divorcing black men at the highest rate. And that is proven. That is, that is a fact. So we may not be getting married but y'all also getting divorced by every race of women at the highest rate in america ma'am what uh what percentage is that the you talking about the book no uh the divorce rate the divorce rate was, mm -hmm. i'm sorry what's the question what was what's the divorce rate for um black men i don't know all that right now now I'll talk my head. I think it's like 70 something percent. It's high. Mm. It's high. So mm. we might be getting low. We as black women might be getting married. And then let, let me back up, Noel, because the book, the book I'm talking about, like a good reference point, if you want to read a something scholarly, that's a very short read. I think it's less than 300 pages is a book by um ralph richard banks and it's called um is marriage for white people 
And what prompted him to write this book was when they went into the classrooms, I think it was in, was it Philadelphia or either DC? It's been a minute since I read the book. And they were talking to the young students about marriage and I, I, mean, I mean about relationships and stuff like that and about kids. And one of the children was saying that he wanted to be a good father. And then the counselor was like, hey, you know, like you, you, you want to be a husband? And he was like, no, marriage is for white people. And that is where the title of the book came from. And this whole entire um, book in this research was sitting around this, these, this group of children that they studied in an urban community about marriage, parenting, and relationships. So based off of that response is what prompted this whole thing. And in the book, it's like one of those things where it's addressed that the decline of marriage in America, like, like we're not the only ones that are just getting divorced. We ain't the only one that's getting married. If you look at every single race in America, marriage is on the decline. If you right. look at every, um, I just, every, I just looked every, it up. I just looked yeah. it up a real one. It's seventy four percent of white women divorcing black men. Thank you for that. But if you look at the um the the the, the statistical decline in marriage, it's not just happening in the black community. It is happening worldwide, and it's really on the decline in America. It's really on the decline in America. We're not the only race of women who are seeing less marriages. We're not the only race of um, people in the in the world who are um, seeing the highest divorce rates, who are get, who who are seeing divorced. Yeah. And um, another talking point, real quick, noble in the book. They talked about, um, this is in the very beginning. When I tell you this is a page turner, when you open that book, you're going to be like, oh, Jesus. But they were saying that they thought the perception was since black people are tend to be considered themselves very religious as far as going to um, church every Sunday, going to Bible study and all that different stuff, that the marriage rate would be less less against people who consider themselves religious. Hell, people who, who in the church are getting divorced at a higher rate than people who don't consider themselves religious in the black community. Very good read. It is a very, very, very good read. 